Hey everybody, I am in Tuskegee, Alabama at the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site. We're gonna walk around, see everything I can see, and then we're gonna hit the road again. But I thought this was a nice place to stop at since I had covered the one in South Carolina. So might as well cover the one in Alabama. In half a mile, turn left. Head southeast on Chappie James Avenue toward General Benjamin O. Davis Jr. Drive. What you got? Two things going on. Continue on Chappie James Avenue three quarters of a mile. My Apple Mats take me back here. Oh, just right here. See? Yeah. Here? Uh, he hasn't said turn yet. In a quarter mile, turn right. <coughs> In 400 feet, turn right onto Chappie James Avenue. In 1,000 feet, turn right to stay on General Benjamin O. Davis Jr. Drive. There. Turn right to stay on General Benjamin O. Davis Jr. Drive, then oh. make a U-turn. Oh, okay. Drop to the Head northeast, then turn left. So this says, welcome, enjoy your visit, but please note and adhere to the following part regulations for your safety and well-being. So it's got all that interesting stuff on there. And this says they came to Tuskegee and young African American men came to Tuskegee from all over the nation to train as Military pilots. They began with primary flight training here at Tuskegee Institute, Bowdoin Field. Tuskegee Institute also had a smaller field, Kennedy Field, where some cadets received orientation flights in the Piper J3 Club during pre-flight training. Cadets who successfully completed primary at Bowdoin Field transferred to C Tuskegee Army Airfield, seven miles from here, for basic and advanced flight training conducted by the Army Air Forces. Only Bowdoin Field remains. And that says, the first African-American fighter pilots in the U.S. Army's Corps were the public face of the Tuskegee Airmen. And this shows they were prepared to fight and die.
Ooh, that's pretty cool. So this says, the place where we learn to fly. Over 1,000 cadets learn to fly here at Moton Field, taking off and landing on an open grassy field beyond the structures below. The field was used so intensely for primary flight training during World War II that the aircraft soon rutted the field and wore away the grass. The paved runways you see now were added in the 1970s. Moton Field was a small airfield, but it was the scene of great accomplishments. The men and women who came to Moton Field went on to change the nation forever. And this says welcome. From where you are standing, you can see the historic core of Moton Field. The name facilities have been restored and hangars one, two, control tower and the Skyway Club Club are museum facilities. You will also learn about the four framed sculptures structures on the property during your visit. We suggest you begin your tour of the park with an orientation at Hangar 1. The walking trails are marked with the signs leading you to Hangar 1. From here, if you follow the trail to the left at the fork in the trail you can either turn right to pass by the Skyway Club or to the or to explore the scenic route by the way of C. Alfred Chief Anderson Historic Road. As you make your way to Hangar 1 look for the sign that reads Welcome Orientation Hangar 1. And it says New Vistas. Moton Field was built by Tuskegee Institute, now Tuskegee University, in 1941 after the school contracted with the U.S. Army to provide primary flight training for the nation's first African-American military pilots. By the end of World War II, almost 1,000 African-American had earned their wings and their flight training began here. Thousands of military and civilian support personnel helped them reach their goal. I hope I don't struggle to walk back up that. Going down is not a problem.
So I think I may not go any further because I don't know if they're open yet for one thing. I mean, the gates are unlocked, but I don't know. I don't see anybody else here. There is a lot of boards down there to read. Maybe I can go this way. Well, I just read online why nothing is going on down there because it says the museum is closed on Sundays. So I guess that you can still walk around the grounds. But I'll just go back to the car. But it is beautiful. Maybe if we're ever back, we can come back Monday through Saturday and actually be able to get down there and go in everything.
So this says Tuskegee Airmen. Hello and welcome to the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site, the birthplace of the Tuskegee Airmen. While you are here, you have the opportunity to travel back in time to the 1940s. You will be able to hear the stories of the airmen and see the airplanes they flew while in primary flight training and in combat during World War II. Turn left and immediately right to follow the walkway straight ahead to the other information board for details on how to begin your tour of Moton Field. For those self-seekers, you can simply turn left and follow the arrowed walkway trail signs to the historic core. So, you can't get in to everything, but hopefully you got to enjoy what you did see. So I'm going to wrap up the video for the Tuskegee Airmen National Historic Site in Tuskegee, Alabama. I was really hoping everything would have been open, but it wasn't. So, if we ever come back in this direction, maybe we can come during the week. One of the days it opened. Yeah. I'm, I'm guessing it's okay to walk around because the gates are open, so it's not like we jumped a barricade or anything to come in here. So, hey, they're open? wide open out there. There's plenty of parking spaces. Somebody else is parked down there. Mm -hmm. So, but it was, it was very interesting what I did get to see. This is where it all began. It is, it is too long. Yeah. But this is where it all began. And like I said, we did cover the Tuskegee Monument in Walterboro, South Carolina. And they've also got one, if they'll ever get it together, they're going to have one in Sumter, South Carolina. That one's going to be nice if they ever mm -hmm. complete it. So. Maybe, maybe not in my lifetime. <laughs> I hope it's in your lifetime. It's going to be nice if they ever get it done. Yeah. So, I couldn't show everything I would have liked to show, but at least this is where everything began right here. So, we're in a historic place right now. So, it's good. At Hope. least you hear and never think you were going to see it. Well, I was hoping I would get to see it. I just didn't know when I would get to see it. So I did get to see it. So another thing off the bucket list. But we need to come back here because this is only half off the bucket list. It's not completely off the bucket list because I didn't get to do everything. But well, yeah. it's, 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 it's a very nice tribute they have here. It's a very nice sight and everything. And at the road, they've got each one of the airmen. Yeah, like there's pictures on the flagpole. Yep. So I did see that. Yep. So that's really nice. So we're gonna say toodaloo for this one. Mom did not walk with me. I did not walk with her. There, there is a hill back there. So I'm surprised I'm not breathing hard after coming back up that thing. You might be getting in shape. Maybe I'm getting in shape now, finally. <laughs> All this walking and doing these videos. We don't know. But anyway, that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Hope you enjoyed. And, and subscribe if you haven't. Yeah, if, if you don't mind, you can subscribe. Because we got a lot, hopefully, a lot of good things coming this week. Since I'm on vacation. But anyway, toodaloo. See you later. Bye. And that down there is the 